का बोल रहे जनरल साहब बोलिए उसके बाद ये पहले आप पहले आप ये लखनऊ की बात याद आ गई है आई एम मोस्ट ग्रेटफुल टू दी ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू दिस वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट कॉन्फ्रेंस अनि नेपाल बाटा आए को हम रो गेस्ट रूल आए एकदम वेलकम था कि ना कि यो पीपल टू पीपल को कॉन्फ्रेंस हो और ये जो मुद्दा पीपल टू पीपल का मुद्दा है इसके बाद बारे में बातचीत बहुत कम होती है जिस भी जिसी जो भी कॉन्फ्रेंस में आप जाएं तो ये रोटी बेटी की बात बहुत होती है और अभी एक नेपाली पत्रकार कल मेरे से बात कर रहे थे और उन्होंने कहा कि कुरा तो रोटी बेटी को ऊंचा तरह कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सब चाइना लाए दी दिन छा इसका मतलब दैट वी कीप रिवेलिंग इन दिस थिंग अबाउट स्पेशल रिलेशंस एंड रोटी बेटी वेर एज द फैक्ट इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट इन ऑर्डर टू मेक आर सेल्स फील हैप्पी वी टॉक अबाउट द स्पेशल रिलेशनशिप एंड यू विल हेयर दिस इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री और फोर डेज सिविक रिसेप्शन एंड अदर प्लेसेज देर बी अ लॉट ऑफ दिस रोटी बेटी एंड स्पेशल रिलेशनशिप विदाउट एक्चुअली एड्रेसिंग द ग्राउंड रियालिटी एंड आई हैव नो आई एम अ सोल्जर एंड आई हैव नोन नेपाल सिंस नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन एंड देर इज एक्सेप्ट फॉर वन ईयर आई हैव विजिटेड सिंस दैट ईयर एवरी ईयर समटाइम्स मोर देन वंस and I have walked from mechi to mahakali and from janakpur to jomsom and and therefore i am more familiar with people and especially the soldiers who have joined the indian army the gurkha soldiers of the indian army who are Uh, the ex servicemen community form a strong pro india constituency there are in, uh, the india's ambassadors in nepal are our gurkha soldiers more than 1 lakh uh, who are now called ex servicemen and uh, they cross the open border come to gorakhpur and pick up their six or eight bottles of hercules rum and go away saying that there is no country better than india because we get our rum we get our dentures we get our uh, spectacles we get our medical treatment everything happens uh, for those nepalis in india or through india uh i was couple of years ago in kathmandu and uh, some people Nepa local nepalis invited me to a restaurant in kathmandu and said to me ke mehta saab aap nepali mein baat chit chal rahi thi aap to aate rehte hain hindustan mein ye जो सरकार है भारत की सरकार वो जब अपनी नीति बनाती है तो नेपाल के जो बाशिंदे हैं जो ऑर्डनरी नेपाली हैं उनके बारे में उनके व्यूज को लेना चाहिए और सरकार की पॉलिसी बननी चाहिए बड़ा इसके ऊपर सीरियस डिबेट चला और मैंने कहा उनको कि तो 
बिल्कुल दुरुस्त बात है क्योंकि जब आप नेपाल की बात करते हैं तो नेपाल जब आप सवाल पूछते हैं क्या है नेपाल के जो 28 मिलियन 20 28 मिलियन और 29 मिलियन जो पॉपुलेशन है उसके लिए सरकार चल रही है लेकिन मैंने उनसे ये कहा कि आजकल जो गवर्नमेंट टू गवर्नमेंट के रिलेशंस हैं गवर्नमेंट के गवर्नमेंट रिलेशंस सरकार के बीच में चलते हैं और जो सरकार काठमांडू में है या जो सरकार दिल्ली में है वही अपने रिश्तों को आगे बढ़ाएगी या पीछे करेगी तो पीपल टू पीपल जो जिसके जिसके बारे में चर्चा हो रही है उस वो भुलाई भुला दी जाती है वो बात दैट डज नॉट फैक्टर वेन इट कम्स टू रियल पॉलिटिक्स एंड द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल टूडे वेन यू लुक अराउंड ऑन पीपल टू पीपल देर आर इजिली एट एनी वन टाइम सिक्स टू सेवन मिलियन नेपालीज दिस डज नॉट इंक्लूड द इंडियन नेपालीज द नेपालीज वो सेटल इन इंडिया पीपल लाइक महेंद्र लामा who spends now more time in china than he spends in india or in darjeeling there are at any time uh, 7 to 8 million nepalis working in india and 2 to 3 million now are traveling abroad so half the nearly half the population of nepal is outside nepal the people of nepal are outside nepal so on that basis our relations people to people relations should have been very good but unfortunately the way we have treated the nepalis in india does not leave a very good taste in the mouth one anecdote was mentioned by uh, about hrithik roshan i will give you two more an anecdotes i can give you half a dozen anecdotes but i will just give you two more anecdotes uh, madhuri dikshit in the 70s when she was a budding star i remember i was in kansas and i had gone to in the united states to give a lecture on india nepal and of before i could start the lecture in the introduction whoever the professor was he said india is very lucky that nepal that it has nepal as a constituent part of it people abroad used to think and madhuri dikshit actually said this she said that india is so lucky to have nepal as a part of it and we are talking about the 70s and we are not talking of anybody un uneducated and of course that former chief minister uh, chief minister of delhi madan khurana ji had gone to kathmandu and there at a civic reception he said oh nepali is a great guys bade acche chaukidar hain bade acche naukar hain तो अगर आप इस तरीके से बात करेंगे नेपालियों के बारे में और क्योंकि मैं नेपाल बॉर्डर में क्योंकि मैं मैं पैदल चलता था 1959 से तो मैं हमेशा गोरखपुर या नौतनवा या नेपालगंज या जनकपुर उस इलाके में जाता था दे यूज टू कॉल the local peoples there uh, uh, people there use a, uh, um, a, a um, an abuse an abusive term referring to the nepalis so and then 
you treat the Nepalis the way you do and then you talk of special relations. How can you talk of special relations with Nepal after the way you have treated not just the Nepalis who come and work for you here, but also some of them who have domiciled here? And, and then you have this question of the anti-India sentiment. Yes, a lot of this was politically motivated. Yes, if you go to the Kathmandu Valley or the Pokhara Valley uh, or some of these townships, you'll find this is contrived, this is manufactured. But if you go now, after the blockade in uh, 2015, as I have been, only two months ago, I was trekking uh, in parts of Nepal for about two weeks. And people who talk to me uh, really mention the hardship they went through. We talked about 1988-89, the blockade in 88-89. Well, there was no problem those days. 89, now people um, uh, in relation to gas, in re relation to fuel, in 88, 89, people were not using gas in uh, Nepal. Today, everybody is dependent on that. And so the impact of the, uh, the, the stoppage and the black market, the parallel economy that was created in Nepal as a result in 2015. So there is an anti-India sentiment. Some of it is real genuine, and some of it is contrived. And that is a great disadvantage uh, for India. The second point I want to make on people to people is only two weeks ago, the foreign minister of Nepal, K.B. Maharaji, when he was asked by some journalists, he said on the Dokulam issue between India and China, we will take no sides. We will take nobody's side. We will be neutral. So a journalist asked me, again a Nepali journalist asked me last week, what do you think about what K.B. Maharaji said? And I told him, well, he's right. K.B. Mora is going by, uh, by the way, I met uh, K.B. KB Mora ji, I went to Rolpa, his village in 1959. And he told me that when you came to Nepal, I was four years old, Maharaj ji. So Maharaj ji is actually echoing what Prithvi Narayan Shah said, that Nepal, is a yam between two boulders, between China and India. That position has never been more real in recent times than it is today. And what K.B. Mohara is saying, that we will take no, no position on India, uh, between India and China on Doklam, reflects this and the journalist friend asks me that what, are, what happens to the 50,000 Gurkhas who are in the Indian Army? If a war breaks out, what would Mr. K.B. Mahara say? Will he support the Nepalis who are in the Indian Army or say we t we, our stand is still neutral? So there are these 50,000 or close to that figure of soldiers who serve in the Indian Army. As I speak, soldiers of four oblique eight Gurkha rifles are deployed in Doklam. They are Gurkhas, soldiers confronting PLA construction, the road construction party, as I speak, in Doklam. And if uh, shooting war breaks out, then what happens? 
So Nepal is in a very tricky position. It's in a tricky position, and I want to come to my last point, or maybe last but one point, is on China. That never before in the history of India-Nepal relations is the China factor as deeply embedded as it is today. You see, the Chinese used to say, uh, before uh, the uh, Maoist revolution or during the time of the Maoist revolution or insurgency, the, the, the Chinese used to call them hijackers of the fair name of Mao. And they were, as somebody mentioned, totally supportive of the monarchy. And the ambassador at that time had, was sacked. The Chinese ambassador at that time was sacked because his assessments proved to be wrong. So uh, the, 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 fact, the fact that, uh, that what we are talking about is the China factor. And the Chinese used to say that they do not interfere in the domestic politics of any country. According to my information, and my information is not uh, horribly inaccurate, the Chinese are involved in every political party in Nepal, including the Madeshis. Political parties have ingratiated themselves to the Chinese in, in ways that you and I cannot think about. From the highest uh, worker in a political party to a former uh, ordinary cadre. So the Chinese have deep pockets. The Chinese will use their wealth, economic wealth, yes, Beijing may be 3,000 3, miles away, and Delhi is only 300 kilometers away. Still, it is the economic wealth that will buy influence and that will shape the future politics in Nepal. And because India cannot match, this roti beti is OK. You can keep talking about roti beti and special relations when there are no special relations. You will say to yourself, you will say to yourself. Pratanda Ji was saying this. When the Prime Minister was born, when they came, they said special relations. They went back. No special relations. Why did they have special relations? When Pratanda um, Prime Minister in 2008, what was their position? What was their position? That we have to... I have listened to their Nepali television for a half hour. For a half hour. And he was saying one thing. He was saying one thing Prime Minister in 2008. We have to use China to balance India. Or Jab wo Pradhan Mantri, when he lost, when he was out of power, and for many years still he was made Prime Minister in many ways by agencies and uh, organizations who work on behalf of India, who was made prime minister again. He, he told me uh, before he became prime minister that I have realized that when, when it comes to relations between India and, uh, India and Nepal, for Nepal, India matters more than China. लेकिन ये बोलने की बात रह गई है 
और ये बात 2008 में बोली गई थी आज 2017 है बेल्ट एंड रोड बन रहा है वो लोग तो चले गए के बी महाराज जी बेल्ट एंड रोड में गए फ्रेमवर्क एग्रीमेंट दस्तखत कर दिया अप्रैल मई के महीने में सड़कें बनाने के लिए सो so, ये जब वेन वी टॉक ऑफ इंडिया नेपाल रिलेशंस देर इज दिस न्यू फैक्ट पहले भी था चाइना हैज ऑलवेज बीन देयर एज पृथ्वी नारायण शाह हैज रिमाइंडेड अस बट चाइना इज देयर इन अ डिफरेंट शेप टुडे चाइना इज देयर एज ए राइवल एंड ए कंपेटिटर it's part of south asia every country in south asia they have a chinese presence they are challenging india in every respect so please remember when we talk about the special relations or roti beti or people to people this one factor alone can make all the difference between whether you have a government after all what is the aim the objective is to have a government in kathmandu that is favorable towards india the chinese will challenge that the chinese will always challenge that and for me that is the biggest challenge that faces the government of india today this new challenge and no amount of people to people's relation can alter that fact people to people are at one level and as we have seen they make no difference in who the government of the day is in kathmandu and if you add to that the a sentiment that is not favorable to india then your task is even more difficult so the people to people come in in that respect so we have to remember that people who come from nepal they may work for you as your servants or as your chokidars or as your chauffeurs but they are very important people and they have to be treated as honored workers you 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 look at the way work uh, the guest workers are treated in germany guest workers are treated in europe or guest workers were treated in the united states and 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 uh, my my closing uh, comment will be that this is one factor on people to people that nobody has ever thought of that why is there this latent unexpressed reluctantly expressed feeling of anti india that it it goes from here and you and i who who keep these nepalis in in our homes are responsible for it so i'll stop here and i thank the organizers for this very interesting uh, uh, conference at a very more interesting time